this video today is the day today is the day we are giving away the john cooper works track spec mini cooper s to one lucky winner of the gas gang today at 8 p.m the car is getting given away so make sure you're joined up to the gas gang for your chance to win plus all the other benefits guys check the links in the description do not miss out 8 p.m today 5.99, less than a Big Mac meal. Let's get back to the video. So what's going on, Gas Gang? Today, we are back with something absolutely crazy. Just look behind me. We have got a 1,200 brake horsepower capable R30 Turbo TT. Guys, when I tell you this one is gonna be crazy, it's gonna be absolutely crazy. Oh yeah, it's also manual. Stay tuned for this one, it's gonna be nuts. Let's get it. Sambo, welcome back to the channel, brother. Well, like G. Oh I'm man, on. Sambo's tires in the house. <laughs> Let's do uh, it. Bro, you've been on the channel a couple of times yeah, now, yeah. Um, but you've never actually featured one of your cars, right? I haven't. So today we we'll bring along this TT, thousand brake for now. <laughs> we've collabed with a special company, Gravity Tune Power. Okay. Shout out to them. We've gone with a 3.2, yep. which is what this car started uh, its life on, a 3.2 block. Using a VR6 crank, we've managed to de stroke it to a 3 litre. Which is why we call it the R30 Turbo. Slapped the big boy turbo on there, 76, 75 position. <laughs> and yeah, man, this thing's off. So, so this <laughs> is a crazy thing to me because obviously like, or it's very intriguing, should I say, because I'm building uh, a VR6 myself. Yes. But when you told me this is de-stroked and this is my naivety in mm -hmm. the scene, like, you know, de-stroking to me is like, hang on, that's working backwards, isn't it? Like you want more capacity. Yes, it does sound like it, but what it is, um, when you de-stroke it, you're, you're coming off the stress of the bearings. Got you. So there's less stress on the bearings. You allow the engine to rev more, so it revs more happy. And yeah, in general, it's just a good platform. Do you want to kind of in a bit more detail, give us, I know like bro, like this, this yeah. the engine bay is a work of art for one. Should we pop it? Should we pop it? Listen, this guy, <laughs> I call Picasso, <laughs> innit? This guy is beyond an engineer. He's just something else. So oh, shout out Miguel man. at Gravitune Power. Look at that, guys. That's absolutely yeah. crazy. Bro, do you want to kind of give us a bit of a, a, a more in-depth kind of uh, breakdown on the spec of this? This goes on and on. <laughs> so yeah, don't get at me if I, if I miss out any bits, but we're using a four inch downpipe into a three inch custom exhaust, um, three inch custom piping. The engine itself is bigger 11 mil head studs with special Gravitune girdle. So the exhaust is also a T4 twin scroll using okay. two 40 millimeter waste gates. Oh, so it's twi okay. twin scroll. Yeah, okay. so if you ever let off whilst you're on boost, yeah, you yeah. come back on, it's instant. Okay. Like, Power's there. And like. is it um, plumb back or is it scream externals? Like external. Oh, that's what we like. like external. <laughs> I'm one. All right, bro. Tell us a little bit about the engine, the internals, the block. Yep. So obviously these dropped to make it a freely at home, a VR6 using forged pistons and rods, ferrier draft, uh, drivetrain and ported head just to allow maximum like head flow sort of thing. Got you. Four inch custom uh, intercooler as well. But all, 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 every single like bolt on on this car 
is very special, man. Yeah, it's yeah. all custom. His custom intake, for example, like everything, nothing's been like cheaped out on, man. No, no. And, and I'd imagine so at, to, to run this kind of power safely, mm -hmm. obviously, um, you need everything to be 1010. 100%. Now, when it comes to mapping this car, um, right now you said you're on an EMU? EMU? So, EMU uh, Black Series, okay. um, mapped by Romain at Race Cal. Shout out to Romain, by the way. Mm -hmm. Um, obviously, we do want to go more features and more power and not that the Black Series EMU is not capable, but I, I feel like Romain's, you know, bread and butter is the Cybex, Cybex yeah. and he was only telling us what features we can have on it for the day, so it was, it was the best basically, man. Got you, got you. So that's going back in next month, hopefully. Okay. We're going to have a race fuel map. Okay. We're going to have um, all, all the stats, so launch control, anti-lag, no lift shift. Um, boost by everything. 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 Be, yeah. And um, on its current setup now, mapped on the EMU, what power did it make at what kind of bar of boost? At the hubs it made, at race car it made, at 1.8 bar boost, it made 760 wheel horsepower. Okay, okay. So we're talking, when you do the calculations, probably like just under a thousand. <laughs> okay, cool, mad. cool. Bro, cool. it's mad. Like and that's, that's low boost, right? This is low boost. <laughs> the, these turbos come alive at two, two and a half bar boost. <laughs> and did you mention the turbo? What turbo it's, is it? It's uh, 7675. Got you. 76 mil um, turbine. Uh -huh. And yeah, man, we're just going to go mad. <laughs> yeah, look, this, this build was not all about numbers for me personally. It mm -hmm. was the involvement. Of course. So I really want a manual gearbox, but at the same time, some aggressive power. Of course. Just that intimidation. This is just something that I like. Bro, no, I, I, I'm with you on that one because, again, I'm going to try and keep mine manual too. Yeah, yeah. And, and that kind of moves on to the next question. Obviously, this gearbox stock or a stock R30 uh, two, two gearbox it isn't going to handle that power. Handle it, it won't. So we've got Gravitune's uh, fourth gear support, billet side mount support, billet forks inside the gearbox. We're using different gears as well, dog gears. Okay. Um, yeah, it's, it's savage. It's, it's really LSD? savage. LSD? LSD Quaif as well, by the way, yeah, forgot to mention that. Got a big uh, external fuel system on this too, right? So we're running twin um, twin Warbro pumps mm -hmm. in a new uh, surge tank, and we're running Gravitune's um, high flow uh, fuel rail. Okay. A and 10 fuel lines all the way around from okay. start to finish. Got ya. So the feed and output is all A and 10 fittings. Okay. So yeah, man, we're not running meth at the moment. We can run meth just to cool down the intake manifold. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But from what we've seen, it's it's happy kind of where it the is. The intake temps are good, yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Maybe cool. in the summer, but yeah. That's crazy. So all of this power, nearly a thousand brake horsepower on pump fuel right pump now. Fuel, yeah, um, and obviously if you turn the boost up, we're talking 1200 brake horsepower, right? Easy. <laughs> Easy. It's been, look, it's been trial and tested before. Yep. This platform is, is not like just come across today or yesterday. Uh -huh. it's, it's been about, man. And yep. The R30T is always proven a good, reliable platform to use. Wicked. Obviously you always get hiccups in the petrol head scene with these sort of builds, yep. but the compression and the big block VR6 is very, very capable. So wicked, wicked, see. wicked. Tell us a little bit about the wheels, brakes and suspension setup. Yeah, man. So we just, we kept it simple. 385 mil um, floating front discs, Alcan J-hooks with R8, Audi R8 um, eight port calipers. Got you. Stock um, rear calipers okay. and just good pads, DS2500. Got you. Wheel stain freeway adjustable coilovers. Nice. And uh, we're yet to do the anti-roll bars, the K braces, and all the other chassis bits. Got it. But that's about it for now, man. Okay, cool. I know that's kind of a nutshell talk about the car. Obviously, so much goes into a build like this, but again, we'd be talking about it all day. I'm sure people 100%. want to see us driving this down the road. So, uh, shall we go for a rip? Let's send it, bro. Let's go, bro. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, ultra lightweight super legueras. Oh, yeah. uh, we sourced those for yeah. 
Manchester Caldwell. Okay. We then went and powder coated them in like a shadow chrome. Okay. Um, they're wrapped in PS4S's. Yep. 19's. Yep. Uh, shout out to Powerflex as well. We're running their Black Series around the whole car. Every so it's fully, fully, fully. Everything. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Sick. Sick. Yeah, sick. sick. And I've got to say, man, this bro, like it is a race car. It's like. <laughs> Small, hairdresser's you know what I mean? Car. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's car. it. Yeah, that's it. Hairdresser's <laughs> car in it. The fastest hairdresser's car around. Yeah, yeah. But it's like that. You know when you're enclosed in a cabin and you got, like, especially when you got that flat yeah. bottom steering wheel. Like you know what I mean? You got the CAE shifter poking up there, stripped out back, bro. We just. Literally. It looks with the sound. It looks and sounds like it's gonna do some damage. Yeah. You know what I mean? But apart from the seats, because we do a lot of events and a lot of like. Journeys. Uh -huh. I thought I'd retain those comfort yeah, seats. Yeah, 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 because they're comfy. I love my heated seats as well. They're still going. working still, but yeah, eventually <laughs> we'll probably get some buckets in here yeah, and save yeah, some yeah. weight. Car. I've got to spy you again. Come on, bro. It's easy experience. Don't get me wrong, I appreciate all ki kind of kinds of cars and all different powers and everything like that, but you know, it's these kind of experiences. I'll turn that down before it blows too loud. But that really d d get me going. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, how much rawer can you get than, you know, a manual thousand brake horsepower car? The Especially that, you, yeah, like, it's hard to get used to it. Yeah, I bet, bro. Watching you driving it, bro. It's pulling you all over the road. Yeah. Four wheel drive, guys. This is um, Jeez. it's a serious car. You got to treat these kind of cars with respect. So I'm gonna treat this car with respect. Also, people would have noticed that there's no zero to sixty that we run on this. So the the not six the launch control feature mm -hmm. has not been added on yet uh -huh. because um, we're going Cybex anyway. Yeah. So there's no rolling launch, anti lag. Um, obviously, not to sixty. Yeah. Yeah. Won't be. No. It wouldn't show, do it justice. But what are we gonna yeah. do, bro? What are we gonna do? <laughs> We're gonna come back on the OG battles. Hey, come on! <laughs> Once he's done, he's coming on the OG battles, and we're gonna see a tear yeah, up. By, like by then, it will be Cybex as well. <laughs> so it's gonna be a different kettle of fish. Sit, sit, sit. All right, let's get this bad boy started. I've got a bit of a confession to make, man. Confession? Bro, I'm the worst passenger <laughs> you can ever think of, man. Bro, I'm the worst driver. You no, no, don't say that, that, man. <laughs> 
All right, now this is going to be a learning curve for both of us. So I'm going to take it slow in this CAE shifter. Man, there's short shifters and then there's this. This is that, that is crazy, man. Right. But it's like literally like bolt action shotgun rifle. You know what I mean? It's that kind of bolt action rifle, should I say? But um, all right, cool. Triple plate clutch too, triple yeah. Triple plate clutch. So let's see how we pull away. Okay. Whoa. Well, okay. We <laughs> <laughs> We're off to a good start. Okay. We're off to a very good start. Let me give us some more revs. Okay. We are away. We are away. This oh, is mad. <laughs> was there a poor little dog there? I was scared to death. All right, let's see if I can not stall it again. Once it's rolling, yeah, we're yeah, go. all right now. Okay, steering wheel's quite light though, like, you know yeah. what I mean? The, everything, the front wheel is ultra sensitive. Yeah, yeah, Has that been sharpened by the EMU, or is it just? It's just the, resp like, the responsiveness of the VR6, okay. the way the, the compression so well. That is um, mad. Yeah, it's been calibrated well, again, of course. Okay. Even now, just the sound. Yeah, that, yeah. Just, that just sounds like a race car. We're just cruising. We're just cruising. Has this got straight cut gears or anything? Yeah, dog gears. I was going to say, I yeah, can hear yeah, that yeah, whining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder what that whining was. Let's get a little second just again. Yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> just to have that at your disposal, bro. That just, yeah. That's mad. And it feels nice, man. I mean, the chassis TT is, sorry, the, the TT chassis is already quite good, but I guess at this power, things start to change. It's not yeah. as amazing as it We've once set it up for fast roll. Yeah. I think we're going to have to like add some positive camber for the straight yeah. Right, cool. Let's get a pull. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Sponsored by Pampers. Holler us. <laughs> nah, but honestly, bro, this is mad. Bro, this is mad. When you get a nice little pull like that. I think you got the revs perfect there. It felt good. I was watching the rev counter there a little bit just to monitor the, uh, where to change. I don't yeah. want to get it bouncing off the limiter too much or anything like that. But even so, bro, what a joy, man. Oh, man. What a joy. And this is just like second to third gear. Oh, man, that Jamie's a driver, you know. Watch out for that. <laughs> Gravitune, part of this build. 
everything on the car is gravity inspect. Um, big shout out to Powerflex, you guys did an amazing job. The, the bushes are doing really well and they help. Um, yeah, man, shout out to all the people behind the build. Sorry I haven't you know, mentioned anyone or I've forgotten anyone, but yeah, man, keep sharing the love. Uh, yeah. See you on the battles, man. That's it. He's coming to the battles, and guys, I'll leave links to everyone he sent below so you can find them, and also his socials. And shout out to Sambo Skies each and every time. Yeah, and uh, guys, on. again, if you have enjoyed it, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, and we will catch you on the next one. Peace out, man.